in that game to go from up big to tying it late and uh -huh. losing at the buzzer. Yeah, uh, like I said, you know, that was just a good football game overall, you know, even though we came out with a loss, you know, I think we battled hard and we're, uh, you know, we never had a doubt in our mind that we we're going to lose that football game. And, uh, you know, we battled all 60 minutes and, uh, you know, you can win with that, you know, this is definitely a learning experience for us. It's, uh, you know, it's tough losing, but um, it was definitely, it's definitely a great opportunity for us to bounce back and learn from this. What struggles did you guys, or did you have, you think, uh, to finish that run, obviously, you know, like over 200, which is something you guys hadn't really been given up recently? Yeah. Uh, that's kind of a tough question, honestly. You know, we, you know, their, you know, the offense wasn't super complex, but uh, you know, obviously it comes down to your integrity and discipline when it comes to uh, certain things like that. Uh, one play that they ran a whole lot was the power read. You know, the running back would come across the defensive end away from the running back would take the quarterback and they give it uh, super quick. Uh, so that put a lot of stress on linebackers. You know, from them uh, being able to get over quickly, and uh, you know, that was definitely a play that you know hurt us a lot because they were able to get yards quickly. You know, at the end of the season, you know, it's, it's so many games that matter. What's the resiliency of this team coming off the top loss? Yeah, uh, you know, we see this game more as, uh, as a learning experience rather than a tough loss. Uh, you know, we I lost my three to a field goal at the end. Uh, it was a great football game, like I said earlier. But, uh, you know, we have four football games, four football games left in the season. And, uh, you know, honestly, as cliche as it sounds, you know, this loss in our minds is definitely a, a great learning experience and uh, something that we're definitely about. What can you guys do the rest of the season? Yeah, well, four games left in the season. You know, that's, you know, the season's coming to an end, you know, quickly before we know it. And, uh, you know, once that, once that, the, that time of the season starts coming around, uh, you know, guys are really, you know, extra hitting hard, you know, with their focus, you know, Monday through Thursday with practice, with film study, uh, just because they know the season's come to an end and, uh, you know, just want to, always want to kick it off the right way. What did that, what did that, what that Josh Youngblood return do for your guys' uh, you know, uh, motion on the sideline, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, that was a big momentum swing right there. And, uh, you know, credit to Josh Youngblood. I feel like he always steps up at a certain time, at a, at a good time to make a play. And, uh, you know, he's definitely a player that's always – Always uh, changing the momentum, getting the momentum back on our side. So credit to him. That was a great play. And uh, that definitely got us rolling back into the game. Another teammate question. Man, I've seen it, but Eli had a couple plays behind you on a three and out drive. Um, just how well did he play today, in your opinion? Yeah, Eli just solving, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, you know, he's always playing. He's always playing 100% if he's between those white lines. And uh, he's always going to be gas out doing his job. And, uh, you know, I love watching him play. I love playing with him because everything he does is, you know, for the, for the other 10 guys on the field rather than for himself. And uh, he's a very unselfish player, very disciplined player, you know, plays hard, uh, just overall great football and a great linebacker. Well, in, the, in the 